welcome everyone to Celebration Family Worship Center's Children's Church. We're glad you came today. Uh, I hope you brought your Bibles with you because we're going to read out of Genesis today, Genesis 37. Um, but before we get into the lesson, let's open up in prayer, okay? Dear Jesus, we love you. We thank you for dying on the cross for our sin. We thank you that you forgave us of our sin. And Lord Jesus, we pray today that what we read out of the Word of God goes forth and goes into people's hearts. Because your Word says that when your Word is gone out, that it will not return empty. And we thank you for that. In Jesus' name, amen. Guys, today in your Bible, we're going to read about um, Joseph a little bit. And it's in Genesis 37. But one of the things that we're going to see, we're going to talk about Joseph for about two or three weeks, and we're going to talk about forgiveness uh, and see how forgiveness, not forgiving people, how things happen, and how things happen when you do forgive people. So if you open your Bible to Genesis 37, we're going to talk about Joseph. Now Joseph, was a, he had a bunch of brothers. He had 11 other brothers. And he was like the 11th brother. And then he had a younger brother, Benjamin. And you don't actually hear about it, but he also had a sister named Dinah. And, uh, or Diana, I'm not sure how they pronounce it. But um, he uh, was his father's favorite. Uh, his mother, uh, he just loved her so much. And when Joseph was born, he just loved him and loved him. And you know the other brothers, they kind of got jealous of him. And as Joseph grew up, he would tattletale on his brothers if they were doing something wrong, and they would get mad about that. And so now Joseph is in his teenage years. I, in fact, he's about 17, where we're going to talk about him. And um, <clears throat> Joseph had heard about God. You know, Jacob had taught him about God. And he started having dreams. And he would go and tell his brothers a dream. He had one dream. That they were working out in a in a, uh, the field cutting grain, and then they would take that grain and they would tie it. And he went to his brothers. He said, "Hey, I had a dream. I dreamed that when we cut this grain, my grain stood straight up, and your grain bowed down to my grain." And boy, did it make him mad. Now, to top that, he had another dream. And what did he do? He went and told his brothers about it. He said, I had a dream that there were 11 stars bowing down to me and the sun and the moon bowing down. And even his own father, Jacob, kind of got on to him. He said, now, don't say that kind of stuff. He said, Joseph, do you really think that your mother and I are going to bow down to you and your 11 brothers? But Joseph kept these, uh, Jacob kept these things in his heart. Jacob was Joseph's dad, kept it in his heart. And he remembered all these things that were said. Well, one day, uh, the brothers uh, were out tending the sheep. And I reckon they'd been gone a while. And uh, Jacob, the father, he said, Joseph, I want you to go check on those uh, brothers of yours. And they went out to, he went out there to check them. And he looked and he was looking around and he kind of looked like he was lost. And finally, one of the other shepherds there said, well, who are you looking for? He said, I'm looking for my brothers. And he said, well, they went down to Dothan to graze a while. So he headed down there, and his brothers saw him coming, and their hearts just fill up with hate. In fact, before Joseph even got there, they had decided that they were going to kill him. Now, he had a coat that was special made for his 17th birthday. It was many colors, and they saw that coat coming. And so when it, Reuben, his, his oldest brother, he said, no, 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 we can't kill him, but here's an empty well. We don't have any water in it. Let's throw him in there. So when Joseph got up there, the brothers jumped him. They tied his hands behind his back. They jerked the coat off of him. Well, they jerked the coat off first and tied him, and they threw him in an empty well. Now, Reuben had talked, you know, told the brothers not to kill him. He has planned in his head to come back later and get Joseph out. Well, the brothers, they had sat down to eat. And they saw some traders coming, and they were from Egypt. And they said, hey, why don't we sell our brother? They sold Joseph to a bunch of Egyptians for 20 pieces of silver. 
Now these are 20 quarters right here. They were easier to carry in a bag, but so they did. And Reuben came back and he said, where in the world is Joseph? And they said, we sold him. They said, what are we going to tell our father? Well, they got a goat and cut it up, put blood on it, and they went back and told the father that an animal had ate him. And oh, his father was so heartbroken. He cried and he cried and he cried and he could not be comforted. Now, let's talk a little bit about that. You know, Joseph was a young man. He was telling his dreams and the brothers, just it just kept stirring in them. You know, God's word tells us that if you, for if you uh, forgive, let me see how it's written this, for if you forgive other people when they sin against you, your heavenly Father will forgive you. And that's found in Matthew 6, 14. The brothers, you know, it's just like family. You know, you're going to get in squabbles. If Joseph was reporting back to the father what they were doing, they were upset. Well, instead of the brothers forgiving him or just saying, hey, that's our younger brother Joseph. This is what he's saying. This is what he's doing. And accept him as he is. No, they just, it just stirred their heart. They got so mad they wanted to kill him. And um, we need to keep in our hearts and mind that if people make us mad, we need to forgive people because we're asking God, our Father, to forgive us of our sins. He expects us to forgive others. And sometimes people will do things to you that hurt you. And you're thinking, there ain't no way I can forgive them. But listen, when you don't forgive, it hurts you more. It doesn't hurt the other person. God says, his word, Matthew 6, 14, says for us to forgive others so that God can forgive us. And uh, that's what the brothers didn't do that day. But I got a puppet that wants to sing a little song to you, okay? And we're going to come back and talk about it in a second. Hey, are you guys ready? Oh, you got two girls today? Okay. Well, are you ready? You want to get ready and turn the music on?
the Bible. I'm going to read it to you out of your Bible. I know it's right there on the poster. But I want to read it to you Matthew 6, 14. For if you forgive men when they sin against you, your Heavenly Father will also forgive you. Yes, I don't know how you feel, but I know I have made a lot of mistakes. And I have sinned against God. And I was so thankful when we celebrated Easter to know that when they nailed Jesus to the cross, he rose from the dead. And if I choose Jesus and I ask him in my heart and I confess in my mouth the Lord Jesus Christ, then he'll come into my heart and forgive me. Forgive me. A holy God has no sin. He can't look on sin. Forgives me. Guys, when you experience that kind of love, it's not going to be hard for you to forgive others because you're going to feel what forgiveness feels like from your Heavenly Father. Now, I want to show you what happened. Now, we're going to have to take a break and we'll go outside. And I'm going to show you what happened to the brothers with Joseph because they didn't forgive Joseph. They kept it stirred up. So let's go outside and see what happens, okay? Okay, we're back. I wanted to come out the yard and show you something about forgiveness. Here is, um, think of this Diet Coke right here as um, the brothers. You know what it is when you shake a drink? See how it gets them stirred up right there? They're all stirred up. And it's just, they just kept it going. And it just got tighter and tighter in them. There was no forgiveness. And I want to show you something I've never done before. So we'll do it together. I wanted to give you an example of what sin can do in your life with the talking about forgiveness. If you don't forgive God, if you don't forgive people, then God can't forgive you. And I just want to show you what kind of eruption sin can cause. <laughs> you see why I did this outside? <laughs> Look, that's how they felt when they wanted to kill Joseph. They just had all they could take. But listen, if you had all you can take, if people are really rubbing you the wrong way, if school's hard, whatever's going on, if your brother and sister are playing with your toys, and you just get mad, just remember, that's sin, and sin hurts you and separates you from God. So today, we want to talk about forgiveness. Forgive the people that have hurt you. Forgive them. So God can forgive you. So you can have a relationship with God the Father. Guys, let's just pray right now. If you've had sin in your heart, if you have not forgiven people, well, let's just pray right now that you ask Jesus in your heart and that you ask the Holy Spirit to help you, give you power to forgive wrongs done against you. Okay? So just pray this after me. Dear Jesus, forgive me for being mad and ugly and unforgiven toward others. I forgive people who wrong me and I ask you to forgive me. Help me to walk closer to you each and every day. And I love you. In Jesus' name, amen. Guys, you're gonna feel so much better Today we talked about Joseph as the boy. Next week we're going to talk about Joseph as a slave. Because he was taken into slavery when he was sold. So we want to see, does Joseph forgive? So you tune back in, or you can read ahead in Genesis chapter 37. Just read that whole story and we come back and maybe if you got some ideas, you can call me on telephone and we can talk about it and share it. But guys, I love you. Thanks for coming. Don't let sin stay in your heart. Don't erupt like this Coca-Cola did. Have a great day and let people, just let it go. Just forgive people. We love you. Bye.